Break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Lions holding on to the football, and they also have the lead as we start quarter number four. Goff on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. But he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. On second down, here's Goff. And that'll be incomplete. Had no command that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Throwing on third, Goff. Now look at this, they get the turnover they needed, it's intercepted. And the Chiefs are right back in this football game. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people are going to question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those defenders found a way to give their team a chance. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now this series could very well determine our outcome. He'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They suspected it. It was a power play up the middle coming at them. And boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. The last run good for two. Here's Go. second and eight. Isaac. Mahomes going to throw. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Man up and it's Tony. He's got it. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. 43! 43! Here's Mahomes to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fielded just inside the 30. It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And that will come the offense as they take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And on the 42-yard line here and brought down there. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. 
And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see. Yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. Escaping the pressure right. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. So from just across the midfield stripe, here's second and nine. Now a give to Gibbs, running left. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. They'll fake the give, now gone. Flushed out right. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of a 40 before he's out of bounds. He didn't like what he saw down there. Sebastian was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Goff going to keep it himself. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed, he did not. They stop him. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call. And the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall, first on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive, and he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. Not in a position where they absolutely have to rush right now, but they definitely have to pick up the tempo a bit. Second and six coming up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Yellow, the Chiefs yellow. now going to use the yellow. first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Mahomes. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. Tell you what, he's been able to 
put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. Now first and goal. Mahomes to throw it. And his throw is going to be incomplete. There have been quite a few plays they might look back on and say, we really have hurt ourselves, and that was another example. And this is late game execution. Everything on the line, so it all has to come together properly. The throw's made. Where's the catch? Got to catch in that spot. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Mahomes will throw. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Butker now to add the extra point. And we may very well be headed to overtime. So this drive spans seven plays. And the touchdown at P18 mean we are tied here in the final minute of play. What a start to the season this has been. Back and forth, all tied fourth quarter as the kick is away here. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Here's first and 10. Now it's gone. the 45. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. This out wide to Gibbs. And we need overtime to decide this one after four quarters of play. We're all even. The extra session in a moment. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're into sudden death. First team to score wins the game. So conditioning going to be a factor here. Who can hold up to the test? It's overtime here in week one. And able to get this out to the 25. KC's offense ready to take over. All set up for him right now, Charles. Opening possession of overtime. They've got the football. They also obviously have this home crowd behind him in a big way. 
They get that extra energy from them, but they've got to be careful not to let that adrenaline get away from them and play too fast or create errors of their own making. Use that energy, embrace it, but make sure they channel it the right way. They got a chance to go downfield, score a touchdown, and end this game. A good pick up there, 21 yards. And you definitely could make the case we might not even be in overtime had he not thrown three interceptions in regulation. But looking better here so far in OT. Yeah, and when you think about what a coach is thinking at that point, because normally you've thrown three picks during the game, you might craft your play call and be a little more careful. Not in this case. The green light is still on for him. That's a nice job there defensively being able to diagnose that little touch pass. They saw it coming, converged on him before he could get much out of it. Two minutes left in this overtime session and still all tied. From the 48-yard line, here's second down and eight. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's James. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 37. Pacheco gets it up the gut. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and the game winner in OT. We needed extra time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off. But all throughout, really just a great game to win. I agree. And, and the whole time we were watching and, and, and working on this game, in the back of my head. We could get to overtime just the way this game went, the ebb and flow of it all, and then to get there and finish it, what I would call old school what, a running play, because in today's NFL, we throw the ball to ring the bell, don't we? <laughs> Not there. They ran it in. And again, just a great, great game that we bore witness to. So for the Chiefs, they begin the new campaign with a victory here in front of the home crowd in the Thursday opener. And they'll get a few days to savor this one before they take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.